so welcome you to another session in in frontiers in cfd so the cfd simulation of 70 cell lithium ion battery pack we are going to do so today's objective is the preparation of geometry of lithium ion battery pack with 70 cells second is to generate mesh and do the name selection during the meshing so that it will be useful for us to apply the boundary condition in setup and the last is applying the boundary condition in the setup and visualizing the result in the post processor so welcome you all today we are preparing the geometry so we just started with the part of the geometry we'll continue till the end and once it is completed I will try to do the simulation on the same so it will take some time uh, I will by that time I will prepare the geometry and will proceed. so the geometry preparation has completed we have prepared around 70 cells out of it so we have tried to prepare the geometry according to the the paper and uh, we have slightly modified the geometry also like uh, the inlet and outlet which we had so these are how uh, the cells we have so 1 2 3 4 5 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 6 uh, 55 60 65 and 70 so there are total 70 cells we have tried to draw uh, so the geometry contains uh, a total of two parts and 71 bodies one of them it shows you pack and second one it shows you the cell so this is how uh, the geometry which has been prepared now uh, we'll try to do some analysis on it so that just to visualize how the things uh, can work so this is related to the geometry preparation it has took some time in order to prepare it because uh, we need to do it precisely as per the dimensions uh, available here and accordingly this geometry has been prepared so there is a space between the each of them uh, uh, each individual cells and accordingly this was your this is your inlet and these are your outlets so now this is the first phase now let's show you the the mesh part how this has been done so the next part is related to your mesh so let's run it so we have took a mesh size which is um, slightly on the medium side so in order to reduce the time required for simulation so this is the first now let's check the default size which you took is around 0 0.002 so this might not be the very fine mesh but uh, we say whatever the statistics we have 5,61,957 so taking into consideration the computational time that will be required we, we are gone on the somewhat co uh, medium size of the mesh not too fine size of mesh so this is one we are having and we'll try to run it uh, say based upon this condition later on if you want we can uh, modify the mesh and accordingly uh, it can be taken to somewhat uh, finer side also so this is your inlet here then this is your outlet on the other side and this is your cell boundary so these are the cell boundary on which the boundary conditions that will be apl applicable when the fluid is flowing from inlet to the outlet so these are the important thing which has been done so this is related to your mesh part let's close the mesh and let's open your solution i already applied the boundary conditions i run it for some trial run so that just to check how the results that come out whether it is as per the desired uh, way or not if they are, are in the proper way then we can proceed with the modification of mesh also and as well as we can uh, we can say few parameters also can be changed like if you want you can change a different working fluid uh, I, in my case I took air as a working fluid but you can definitely use your working fluid which has um, if you know the properties of the fluid accordingly you can take or the fluids which are been available in the fluent database accordingly that can also be made use of so this is how the geometry looks like this is your red air sorry this blue arrow shows you inlet and this is your outlet so transient model has been specified uh, gravity has been specified 
so this is how uh, the things are been done so initially we have run it for somewhere around 300 so let's show you the material over here so i consider the the material as a air uh, as a working fluid which you are considering we can use your own working fluid also lithium ion battery is mostly a cover with outer layer as a nickel so that's why the material has been specified over here and cell zone conditions are there so we haven't changed anything out of it only in the boundary conditions these are uh, as many as boundary conditions which we have so based upon that uh, you can see walls there are too many walls as a boundary condition and it will happen because this is a very uh, we say a big geometry which in involves seven to two cells and accordingly uh, the boundary conditions are slightly more in this case so this is one thing mm -hmm. at inlet we have specified the velocity also so at uh, at what velocity the fluid is entering so you can specify the value of uh, velocity at the inlet and another thing is you can specify your uh, we can say the temperature of the cell so that is the two boundary condition that we have specified over here now based upon that uh, we say the further analysis is has been is has been has been carried out okay so what is next uh, next thing which is related to your initialization so standard initialization has been taken and in the calculation activities we have set the solution animation for your total temperature okay so the total temperature is specified as a solution animation on the given uh, we can say the object on the 3d computational domain uh, then uh, run calculation i will just run it for maybe around say 20 time steps and we'll show you how the things proceeds in the right way or not let's make it okay and let's run it so you'll see the residual which is coming out and at the same time we have set the animation so we'll be in position to know whether we are going in the right way or not uh, because as the geometry is somewhat complex it can take some time to uh, generate the results as well as whatever the flow time we are considering so that also need to be matched with your experimental value also and this is how the current uh, we can say the status of the geometry which uh, and uh, the boundary conditions which are applied on the geometry you will see the red zones as well and some blue zones also and <coughs> the flow pattern which is been there so that will be clear more um, understood in the next part that is related to your post processor <coughs> so this is just animation has been set in order to check whether we are going the right way or not So once this is completed, we'll go to the next part that is related to your the post processor, and I will just visualize the things out there in the post processor, how it looks like in the actual geometry, uh, how the fluid flows are been there because we have applied two boundary conditions. One of them it is velocity, and second one as a as a temperature as a boundary condition we have applied, and accordingly we are uh, we are on the process of completing. Okay, so you'll see the calculation complete message option go to the workbench window make it okay and now you can proceed with the next part that is related to your results so let's click on the result uh, and just check it how it does appear whether it is in the right way or not so that we can visualize with the help of your post processor it definitely will take some time to load Again, the geometry is somewhat complex, so that's why it will take some time to load. Okay, so this is how the things are actually visualized as of now. The red hot zone shows you the cells, and you can clearly see how the fluid flows patterns are being observed.